Hi, I'm Tom Keenan. I'm the sales director with ID Tech X. We're here in Santa Clara, California at our 2018 edition of the ID Tech X show. And my guest today is Mr. Joe from Thompson Technology, who's going to tell us a little bit about his products and some of the neat things that are going on at Thompson. Mr. Joe? Hi. Hey. How are you all? Nice to talk to you. Um, basically, um, let me just start from the, our like raw material here. Uh, we are Thompson Technology, and uh, we're based in uh, Sunnyvale, United States. Um, I'm sorry. We, um, this are, uh, and uh, we represent uh, six elements. Uh, that's a Chinese based company, our manufacturing facilities there. Um, it's like it's graphene oxide and graphene powders, a raw material. We have like annual output of uh, about 100 metric tons to 300 metric tons. And uh, we have the like capacity of like 3,000 metric tons. Actually, we are currently the largest manufacturer of graphene raw material in the world, and uh, we have a uh, a lot of applications, like ranging from this, um, like this um, resins for a primer for coatings primers, and to like um, this. Um, uh, thermal conducting films uh, for electronic devices, and uh, okay. yeah. you can show around. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, and uh, some other applications like the um, for battery industry, we have cathode material for the cathode material uh, for uh, this lithium ion batteries. Um, we also have many more applications, in, especially in like um, these polymers, um, polymer mass batches, and uh, in this like fibers, you know, fibers and uh, textures, like this glove, the anti cotton glove, to improve the mechanical strength of the material. So it goes into textile materials? Uh, yep. Okay, great. And I understand this that you just had in your hand, if I can get you to hold that up again. Sure. I understand that one of the products that that could go into are uh, cellular phones? Yep. Okay. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit more what that would, what the benefit of that is? Sure. Uh, for their, I think there's, uh, why the, Thermal conducting films widely used currently in the cell phones or mobile phones because uh, as the power of the electronic devices become higher and higher, there's more heat to need to be transferred. So that's why, like uh, the, these companies are more like um, see more importance in the heat transfers to for help to cool their phones. So um, compared to the traditional product, our product. Um, has a relative higher like the heat transfer efficiency, right. like the conductivity is higher uh, thanks to the uh, superb uh, property of graphene, and uh, at the same time it has very good flexibility. Like I can show you the statistics from here. Um, like in this, uh, in, in our in our product, the flexibility is like I I, I can't count the zeros here because there's too many, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Comparing to the traditional products, uh, I think the thermal conductivity and the flexibility is a major advantage. And so it has flexible bending times, basically. Yeah, especially yeah. like in some like innovations of new developments. Right. Some some like companies are trying to like um, develop the flexible devices. Yeah. So that could be like more of you. So yeah. that can go into smartphones, smart sure. devices. Things yeah, like that any nature. electronic devices because right. we the. The thickness can vary between like 30 microns, like uh, 100, 200 microns. Right. So fits and needs for like most of the electronic devices. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So you've got a, a, a number of of things here that go into various product markets. So yeah. you're not just limited to the electronic market. Yeah. You've got something that works in the te like chemicals, textiles yeah. and chemicals. Yeah. Um, so it's a it's a real broad market base that you can yeah. uh, you can market to. Yeah, yeah. Right. just trying to expand the market so we can have like, like more uses of our product. Yep. So that push forward the uh, development of our research and the manufacturing as well. Right, yeah. right. Okay, great. Now, uh, how are you finding the show here in Santa Clara? Uh, actually, I think several years ago, our, um, the CEO of Six Element, um, doc, uh, Dr. Bill Chu, he was present here and uh, he found it, uh, I think, as at that time, it was very new here, right? The right. show, for, especially for the graphing topic. Yep. But we uh, and we found the, we found it's yeah it's necessary to uh, to have some like media exposure. But right. we re 
Yeah, we don't. We usually we don't want to like expose too much in the media. We just want to focus on what we are doing right. to like the web was the products like. Um, so, but for I think in the U.S. market, um, it's in because uh, our facilities in China, uh, in the China market, at, there's a lot of like graphing graphing manufacturers and uh, right. companies. So, so it's a very competitive. Yeah. But in, I think in the United States, it's um, relatively like new or people's recognition of graphing and its products not as you know not as this popular as in China. So I uh, we found it's kind of. Uh, in, you know, necessary to like have some exposure here in the United States, and uh, so that's why we established our company in the United States. Uh, I think about two years ago. So, like last year, we um, we had a chance to take part in this exhibition, and we find that it's pretty like it's pretty professional and pretty good atmosphere here. So, um, this year we just came back, and maybe maybe all like attend the the show in Europe as well. So. That would be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah we find more exposure. You touched on something. We uh, do do the show in April, and it, that takes place in Berlin at the Estrel uh, Exhibition Center. Uh, and uh, we would love it, Mr. Joe, if, if, yeah, if you would be a, a speaker in our conference. We there. also have an office in Europe, in Germany. Okay. So I think our you know our personnel there, we are pre if we have a chance, we'll, they will like pretend that there. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. W wonderful. Mr. Joe, thank you for your time. I thank really you appreciate so it. I hope I've... you have a great event. Thank you so and much. And thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.